right in the studio. This is the latest on my newscast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up, I'm JR. You're chilling all right. Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you later. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So the topic we're going to talk about today is um, the difference between GIMP and Photoshop. Um, the reason I want to talk about this topic is because I want to address the issue that... Um, of course, like I said in all my videos, and I have an Instagram, I have a TikTok, yeah, I even have a Facebook. Stated that I am a graphic designer. I've been doing it for uh, like almost six years now. Um, I think seven, seven, almost seven years now. Sorry for the mistake, but anyways, um, now why? Like I just said, uh, being a graphic designer, um, I know that most or majority of Graphic designers like me uh, tend to use Adobe Photoshop, is which is way more flexible, um, and you can do a lot more stuff with it. Um, you can even make videos from Adobe Photoshop, but um, there are a lot of all the other alternatives uh, besides Photoshop. Um, the way you can do um, movies, you can do video, do animation, all that stuff. There are a lot of all the alternatives. Um, and also, there is Flash 2 where, you know, I, back in when I was in 11th grade, let me tell you a story. Back when I was in 11th grade, um, I learned to do Photoshop. Um, I did not um, know about Photoshop or editing stuff or making logos until I was in 11th grade. Now, let me tell you a story. Beginning of 11th grade, um, I don't know what multimedia is. Um, I know that... Um, most of the people that know me, that I like computers and stuff, so I don't know what multimedia is. And when I started my first day of school in, as a junior in Huntsville High School, um, I was going into sixth period. And when I went to sixth period, I walked to a classroom, I see a desk full of computers in there. I don't know what I was doing, but um, I sat down, I looked at it, I don't know what it is. Still, a teacher walks in, told everybody, sit down, sit down, okay. So, fast forward, um, they, she gave us a book, um, I'm not gonna say her name or whatever, but, um, I opened the book and it explains all kinds of basics on how to be a graphic designer, how to edit photos, uh, such and such and all that stuff, you know, use the lasso tool to take out certain items in one picture and put it into another picture, edit it in, all, all this stuff, but, you know, it's just like, um, you get to play around with it and stuff. Sometimes you got to learn how to do the Photoshop and stuff. And of course, I got to admit, I was frustrated at the time well, when all this transpired against me because I know very little about multimedia editing design. And now this is where the year that I started doing newscasts and doing videos and I doing edits and all that stuff. But, you know, it's... uh. I think, oh yeah, the program that I was using to make newscasts is Windows Movie Maker. Um, it's the, it's a very, very easy software to use. Um, it's been around since uh, Windows 7, I think it's 2010, 2011, whatever. And I've been doing this for seven years with that uh, program. Um, the last time I would use that program was um, back in 2018 when... Um, when I used, finally stopped using that program around that time frame, um, everybody told me, oh, it's too old, it's too old, you need to get another program. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I listened to their advice. Okay, I admit, their program's getting old, old software. You can't do pretty much anything with it except put in pictures that you can't put a picture in the video or whatever, like every other YouTuber is doing. So, um, Fast forward that uh, I couldn't do anything with Windows Movie Maker, so I had to stop doing that and just move on to something else. But what program could I use to make my videos better? That's a good question. So, the program that I am using now is Movavi. 
and you don't know what Movavi is, it's a alternative. Um, you can even do a little animation with your logos and stuff if you're a graphic designer. That's what I've been doing uh, two years ago, but I haven't gone to it that much because, you know, I've been busy doing all this other stuff, trying to make videos, trying to do orders for people, doing all that other stuff, paying my bills, drawing out logos, you know, and then, you know, spending, getting time for myself. I mean, it's, it's just very hard to be living on your own. So if you had a partner, I mean, things could be easier for you, right? But let's get back to it. Um, Now, let's get back to GIMP uh, versus Photoshop. Now, um, when I was in Multimedia, of course, we had to use Adobe Photoshop. We also had to use Flash Animation um, that the teacher gave us. Um, really, I don't... I haven't learned too pretty much from flash animation, but I would like to get to do a flash animation and animating stuff one day. But right now, my uh, critique is um, my passion is on graphic design, work on the basics. And I saw at the bookstore, Barnes and Noble, that I was itching to get a book that will teach me all the basics on how to be cartoonish, be a cartoonist. Help you draw faces and all that stuff. That's what I need right there because um, it helps me, you know, when I draw people on the logos. You know, I go on Facebook a lot. I've been on Facebook groups and I see a lot of graphic designers draw people, put them on the logo with their fingers, you know, very, very detailed. I want to get into that. So, um, you know, sometimes customers will ask, uh, can you draw this person? Can you draw that person? I need three people on the logo. I need three figures on the logo. And, you know, you have to draw hands. That's where um, I'm tr uh, having trouble at is drawing fingers out, you know. And I, I haven't gone to it yet, to be honest. But I've been, you know, it wasn't, you know, I wasn't copying other people's work. I was drawing the hands out from scratch. But it took me hours and hours to get it right. But... You know, I just want to get to a point where it just takes minutes and not instead of hours because, you know, I don't think it's going to take hours just to draw hands and draw um, body parts, um, you know, body sections, you know, arms, limbs, legs, elbows, knees, all that stuff. It shouldn't take hours, I mean, just to draw all that stuff, you know, put on computer and all that stuff, but it should take minutes just to draw out, you know, it's just, you know. This is the reason I wanted to get a book, and let me show it to y'all right now. Um, man, my battery's about to run out, and let me let me put it on the charge before it dies right here. So, okay. All right, so let me show y'all something. Um, and I I know it's a good book, but I just wanted to show you. Um, uh, let's see, what was the name of it? Holy shit, guys. Ah, okay. Let me see. This is the book. Stan Lee's Masterclass. Stan Lee's Masterclass. Of course. And you know, Stan Lee is actually the creator of Marvel. He used to draw Superman, draw Batman, draw the action characters, you know, you know, all that action, all his hard work, you know. And I commemorate all his hard work. I know even though I never watched the shows, but I commemorate I value his hard work and dedication. And that right there is made make me want to keep going. That right there makes me want to keep going and to being a great artist, great graphic designer, you know, I want to actually be like Stan Lee one day, but you know, when that time comes, it's going to come, but I can't rush it yet, but um yeah, so um let me let's go back to the topic cuz I've been out of topic for way too long um and you know with GIMP, um, you can pretty much do the same thing as Photoshop, but it, you can't be flexible. You can't make videos, you know. You can't stretch stuff, you know. You can't use the lasso tool. You know, it has all the, all the same stuff that Photoshop does, but it's not as flexible as Photoshop. Um, and with Photoshop, you know, it costs a lot of money just to get the program uh, because, you know, it's flexible. You can do a lot with it. You can do photo manipulations and stuff. I did phone manipulations back in 2016 with GIMP. Turned out pretty good, but it wasn't that flexible. But you can edit stuff just like Photoshop, but you can you can you can make it realistic as possible. But with um, 
Photoshop, you can do, you can stretch out a street light, you know, just like that in a, in a matter of minutes. With Photoshop, you have to do certain stuff just to blend in the street light. If you want to stretch it, you have to uh, use the clone tool, blend it in, you know, and make it as it was real. And, you know, it really grew. I mean, it, in Photoshop, it just takes minutes to do uh, whatever you need to do. Uh, and um, like I said, um, and by the way, I need to show you guys something. As the program GIMP got, you know, upgrades and all that stuff. And, you know, what made me notice that um, when you go in, work on a project, a logo or something, I was working on a logo and I wanted to uh, put in a use a white paint to blend a white tool on the logo. So what I did is just use a gradient tool. I know, I'm, I think Photoshop got that too, but I don't know pretty much, I don't know anything about Photoshop, but I swear I am going to get that program so I can be very competitive. I know you guys are tired of me using GIMP and I know that I need to get GIMP. I need to get Adobe, oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I meant to say Photoshop. So I need to get Photoshop. I need to get Adobe Photoshop and learn the basics so I can be competitive and stop using GIMP once and for all. You know, and uh, compared to Photoshop, GIMP is a free program you can download. Uh, you can download all the uh, fonts that you need. You can download all the script boo and stuff. You can download all the programs, download all the tools that you need. Um, with GIMP, I mean, with Photoshop, I keep saying GIMP. But with Photoshop, you can download as much as stuff you need. I think you need to buy it. But, you know, it's a powerful program for every other graphic designer to use. Um, and also, I think that uh, you can do anything with Photoshop in case you need a, a file to print uh, something on shirts and all that stuff. I mean, Photoshop is the way to go. Um, even though I never try it with Photoshop, I mean, I really, really want to learn Photoshop and I want to learn the basics. I want to get out there, be very competitive. Um, I can show these guys what I can do, what I want to do, um, be the best graphic designer I can be and serve all my customers right. Um, so GIMP has, has been very good to me for the past seven years and it's just been a journey on how much I learned so far. Um, of course, people will come at you if you do certain stuff like, you know, if people can judge your work, you know, it's just very crazy. People can be Chris, Chris is crit criticizing these days, you know, so yeah. Um, so, uh, GIMP is pretty much, uh, easy to use. You know, you just have to know what you're doing. Oh, and back to the gray tool. When I, when I was working on Logo, I was uh, using a white gradient tool. And when I finished with that gradient tool, it doesn't look as smooth as the older version of GIMP. Um, when you look closer, you can see all the other layers, the lines, you know, the creases and all that stuff. It's just not blending. It's just creasing and stuff, you know. It's just like uh, layers and layers and layers and lines and lines and lines. You can see it on GIMP. You'll you'll see it when you get used to GIMP. So, um, yeah. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about um uh, what's the difference between Photoshop and GIMP because um really I wanted to talk to you uh why I was been what I have been why I have been using on on all my uh, on all my projects. So. Um, I just want to, you know, let you guys know, I'm sorry uh, about the story, but I want to let you guys know that, uh, what kind of program I've been using for all my projects and stuff, which is GIMP 2.10. So hopefully I can gather all the money, and all the resources I need to move on to Photoshop. I mean, I know it's going to be, uh, I know it's going to be hard to transition to Photoshop, but I think, uh, you know, I have the confidence to do it. So, um... Yeah, so I hope you know I I hope you enjoyed this video um and I hope you know I get the Photoshop and um yeah so I wanted to also let you guys know that I did um make t-shirts um 
I had three t-shirts and I have uh, made a little video on TikTok showing you uh, what I can do. Um, all right, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here they are. My favorite three t-shirts that I had designed. You know, it's my 11th anniversary and I'm just celebrating right now. And it's 2022. We had a Tuesday, two, February 2nd, 2022. February 22nd, 2022. And you know, 2011 was 11 years ago. So how about this? 2011 plus 11 years equals 2022. 11 plus 11 equals 22, right? 11 years plus 2011, 22. Right? 11 plus 11 equals 22. Get it? <laughs> See? Look. Made design myself. Look. Look at the back. Wow. All this. Yeah. Paid good money for it. I specialize in design, logos, flyers, letterheads, business cards, illustrations, brochures, restaurant menus, and I have my slogan right here. Always start with a drawing, finish with final results. And, you know, I have my Facebook and Instagram information in case you want to follow me on there as well. Um, I also have it in black. See, look at that. Black, look. Look at this. Wow, what an accomplishment. Oh wait, I read grab one, but whatever. I have a white one, but you know, it's uh, you know, it's the same thing, but it's in black. So, um, yeah, so, um, I really want to talk to you guys, uh, how I feel about Photoshop and all this stuff, but I'm still gonna, I'm still thinking about changing over to Photoshop, but I just gotta, you know, keep working hard at it just to be ready for that program. So. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you on the next one. But until next time, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.